In this video, we're gonna be using the Twig Razor by Leaf Shave and the Swedish Witch Fresh Citrus Shaving Soap. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm very excited today to be giving you first impressions on the Twig Razor by Leaf Shave. This can be found at leafshave.com. It just recently came out of Kickstarter and is getting ready to go on sale commercially uh, in the next few weeks. I think sometime in February or March. It is a single edge razor, which uses half DE blades. And it's got a very cool design, I think, in uh, how you load it. So here you see the razor closed. If you twist this bottom part, watch the head. It comes up and then it rotates outward. Again, showing you that. I just think that mechanism is pretty cool. I saw uh, Jeffrey Smith using a, a demonstrating a vintage razor that had a similar mechanism to it rotates up and out, and then you lay your half DE blade in here. And it has a little magnet right there to sort of help you get it into place and to help it stay in place while you're uh, loading the razor. Uh, it comes with five of these leaf branded uh, half double edged razor blades. However, you can just snap a half, uh, a regular DE blade, I should say, if you like. And again, we're just gonna set this blade in there and it's got blade stops right there. You just lay it in there. That magnet sort of pulls it in and then you rotate the head and as you can see it comes down and it completely covers the tabs there's nothing overhanging there there's nothing to worry about on the sides it's got a pretty sleek head um you might know leaf from this razor which is their pivoting uh, razor which uses three half de blades you've seen this on my channel many many times the complaint about this razor was often it's very tall from top to bottom the head this one does not suffer from that. It's got a pretty sleek head, so I imagine if you're shaving under your nose and or in other tight to reach places, this one is gonna feel a lot more mobile. Um, it Also, they sell um, stands. Let me go ahead and show you that. And again, I don't even think I've mentioned that I'm gonna have one of these for giveaway, or maybe I did, I've already forgotten. I'm excited, I'm forgetting things. Anyway, uh, they make a stand like this for it, which you can purchase, sits down on it like so, and there you have your razor. Uh, they also have a, a blade bank. They also sell these leaf branded blades. These are made in uh, Egypt, it says on the back. And as I mentioned before, we're gonna have a, a giveaway with this. Let's, let's go ahead and show you the giveaway unit. Box slides off like so, opens up, and there is your razor. It does come with five DE blades in there. Simple packaging. Uh, the razor does have a little heft to it. I'm not sure what the metal is, what it's constructed of, to be honest. Um, but I will link the website below and you can certainly seek out those details. I didn't see it. It's possible I, I could have overlooked it. So let's talk about the soap we're going to use today a little bit. We're going to be using the Swedish Witch. This is fresh citrus. And that's a lot of S's to say. Swedish Witch fresh citrus. Say that five times fast. It's pretty difficult. <laughs> anyway... Um, I got this from Oyve. I got him a Maddie Lindholm soap, who's a wonderful gent from Sweden. I'll link his channel below. And he got the Swedish Witch uh, Fresh Citrus Soap for me. She doesn't offer containers anymore, which I personally don't care for. I like to have a container. So you got to take the label and put it on something else, and it looks kind of janky. But uh, the soap, um, I was uh, watching Johan from Shaven Butcher the other day, and he said that Chris Maiden from Another Cup, Cut Above thought it might be the best soap in the world. Um, and I do remember liking it. Uh, I don't know if I was taken to that level where I'd call it the best in the world, but best is difficult when it comes to evaluating soaps. The best at what? You know, it, it's really difficult because most soaps are great. Um, it is a nice, fresh citrus scent. Um, it's under medium and scent, sort of lightly scented. It is a pretty hard puck, um, but I remember enjoying it before and I'm sure that I will uh, enjoy it today. Again, this is one of those subs where you kind of have to know someone or reach out to the Swedish Witch via her email address. I will uh, link it below. It's not really a commercially available soap. And when I was talking to Johan the other day, I commented, I think these would be um, in a lot more people's dens if she had containers and they were a little more available. And he basically said, you know, she doesn't care. She doesn't want to use plastic. Um, and so that, that's her choice, obviously, but it's one of those things where um, it probably doesn't lend itself to growth for a lot of people because many people want to protect those soaps and keep them for a long time. But I did enjoy using it and hopefully we shall enjoy it today. So let's get started with the leaf. And again, keep in mind, we're going to have that giveaway. So 
stay tuned. I'll announce how you enter. And we have our standard 24 hours of growth. You can see a little of that salt there. We're gonna go ahead and mist. I'm just applying water to the face. And then I have some of the Swedish Witch uh, soap lathered up here. It's been sitting for a little bit because I've been yapping about the, the twig. Uh, the, the original twig was plastic and it was just sort of a prototype razor that they sent to folks who purchased the leaf early on. And they've been working on this razor for probably a couple of years, I'd say. And so we look forward to seeing how it shaves. I like the idea that these companies like Leaf, who have a following outside of the traditional community, I like the idea of them bringing products that are traditional in nature, a single edge shaver, because they have the ability to bring people who maybe aren't traditional shaving hobbyists into the hobby. Maybe they, they see this twig and then they stumble into the hobby and go, oh, look at these wonderful soaps, look at these brushes. By the way, today I'm using the That Darn Rob uh, brush with the AP Shave Co Sinbad Knot. The Swedish Witch here, as you can see, no problems uh, lathering it. The scent strength on it, again, lightly scented. It is nothing that's gonna sort of reach out of the tub and give you a citrus slap in the face. Just kind of sort of uh, easy going citrus. I do like it, uh, but don't don't think that it's a citrus blast. It's not gonna punch you between the eyes and go, hey, got some just citrus here. It's one of those you're gonna have to sort of just, it's a subtle citrus, I think. Or at least as it's aged in the tub, that's sort of how it smells. Okay, so let's take our first few strokes with our leaf razor. Again, this will be uh, going on sale in the next few weeks. So look, February or maybe beginning of March, and that feels pretty good. There is some blade feel there, but it also feels mild. So it's definitely removing hair. That feels pretty good, actually. I've only other tried one half DE razor other than this particular version of the Leaf, which is the Razor Rock Echo or Eco. And that razor, I could it, it never felt smooth to me no matter what blade I used. I liked it, but it was just always slightly rough. This, nice. This does not suffer from that. And that head, it feels nice. It feels, it does certainly feel fairly maneuverable. So I, I am certainly liking that. One of the things that I appreciate about Leaf is when they uh, reached out to me, and said, we'd love you to try this. They asked, they said, we just want your honest feedback no matter what it is. And, and I always like that. And they sent this little card here, which shows a, <laughs> the twig going over the moon. And so I've always enjoyed the folks at Leaf. And I will link below my interview with Adam, one of the co-founders of the company. And we did talk about the upcoming twig. At the time, it was not... Uh, it was still a couple of months off in, in terms of fulfilling the Kickstarter, but uh, now it's here or will be for you in a few weeks. And uh, I must say those first few uh, strokes felt pretty good. This is definitely a mild, mild shaver. It's meant to be. This is one of those razors that's meant to be easy to use and non-threatening, but I do get blade feel. So if you've used the Henson razor, you know, it's it's got very little blade feel and some folks don't like that. This one, you get some blade feel, but it's very smooth. And uh, honestly, I'm surprised. This is quite a smooth razor. Now, if you're someone who has, uh, who really wants high aggression, mean, or let's put it this way. If you're someone who wants a ton of blade feel, it doesn't have that, but there is some blade feel. And what I find helpful about blade feel is that it sort of gives you feedback and you know where you're cutting, you know. It makes it a little easier to uh, make sure your angle is correct. Ease of use. And I know a lot of people prefer it. I would call this, um, this is certainly not the mildest razor that I've ever used. It is mild, but it is not on the Feather AS. ASD2 mild end of the spectrum. This is more akin to maybe a Merker 34C, maybe slightly over that. Um, it felt good. I am surprised. Um, when I showed this live on Instagram the other night, some people didn't like the design in terms of that handle. Um, but the way it feels in your hand, uh, I really enjoyed that first pass. Uh, it surprises me because honestly, just to look at it, I don't think the design, for me, I don't think the design is 
for me, the best looking razor, but it shaves well and it feels sleek. It's got a, that head just feels very maneuverable. By the way, there's the first prototype version of the leaf. It was uh, plastic and they sent that along with the leaf to sort of get in some tight areas. Uh, but now you have the twig again, $59. You can buy the full kit, which has the stand, which has, you know, blades and all that stuff. Um, but if you just want the razor, 59 bucks and they do have a 30 day guarantee. So if you sort of want to try a flyer on it and just uh, grab one, if you don't like it, shave with it for a couple of weeks and send it back. They have that guarantee. Take advantage of it. It's worth a try. And I like the sort of growth um, mindset products. And when I say that, what I mean is for me, Leaf has a following outside of the traditional shaving community. So if you approach this as a traditionalist from a growth mindset, in other words, might some people who aren't traditional shaving hobbyists fall into this traditional shaving hobby because of this razor, because they stumble onto it? They very well may. And that's what I also like about the, uh, the regular leaf razor here. I know many people have stumbled upon it for head shaving or maybe a lady's leg shaving, and then they... They discover these wonderful soaps and brushes and and now they're in our traditional shaving economy and, and adding their monies and uh, allowing uh, the innovation to be driven. That is a growth mindset in terms of the hobby, wanting people who are not in it to come in. And I think Leaf sort of does a good job of connecting and bringing some people in who perhaps aren't us old uber hobbyists, so to speak. And by that, I mean people who just really love the hobby, not that we're better than anybody else. That is those of us who are really into the hobby. Let's put it that way. Uh, and so I think this razor is an excellent um, tool and maybe bring in some folks to the hobby who aren't currently in it. And for me, that is always positive. And I am surprised by this razor, honestly. Um, I didn't know what to expect. I didn't know if it would be a little rough. Like uh, I find the Razor Rock, you know, Echo or Eco to be just slightly rough. I never could find blade find blades that made it a smooth, smooth shaver to the degree I would like. Um, but this razor is smooth, um, and so I'm surprised. They definitely took their time, and I do think this is a razor that um, certainly could pull some new people to the hobby. And for that, I am very grateful. At the same time. It's a half blade DE shaver or a half DE shaver. So you're spending half the money on blades. Um, assuming we can get, you know, three shaves out of this blade. I'm using half a blade every single time. That's good in terms of your wallet. So it's sort of budget friendly in that regard. And uh, so far I'm liking it. I'm surprised. I, I guess I shouldn't be because, you know, I like the other leaf, but this one, I didn't really know what to expect, but it is a really nice, mild shaver. And you know me, um, I tend to prefer razors that are a little more efficient, but I also use mild razors as well. And this one is, uh, I'm finding it to be very enjoyable to use just because it's because of that. There's something about that head uh, that just feels sleek and maneuverable, sort of like the Vector. It is not as slim as the Vector. Um, but it sort of feels that way, and so I'm enjoying it. Oh, by the way, we almost forgot about the giveaway there, and we don't want to do that. So, if you want to be entered for the giveaway of the leaf, simply hashtag below, I'll put it right there for you, leaf, leaf, hashtag leaf, and in about a week, maybe two, because I've already got a, another giveaway going, um, maybe in a week or so, or definitely will be week or greater, I will uh, put your comments in a random comment generator and we will announce the winner in one of the shaves that we do. And so keep it tuned here on the channel because we're going to have giveaways every week for the next, sheesh, probably a couple of months. <laughs> so keep watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. It means a lot. Uh, and uh, you will have giveaway opportunities. Again, just hashtag leaf. 
That's all you have to do. And if you don't want to make any other comment, you just hashtag that. I'll give you a heart. And that's how you know I've seen your comment and I appreciate you. I want you to know that I appreciate you. And again, thanks Lee for sending the, the giveaway over and the razor. I appreciate it and I've enjoyed using it. So for me, I think this is a razor that I'll be using uh, every once in a while. You know, I have a ton of razors. And so I'm not gonna be using this razor certainly every day, but when I'm in the mood for a half DE shaver, I think this one for me is the best that I've tried so far. For face shaving, it's gonna be far more maneuverable than the regular leaf. Um, and it's smoother than the Razor Rock Eco. I haven't tried the the Yaki or, um, I tried a Rock Now offering some years ago. I wasn't a big fan of that razor. I don't know if you can hear that. Can you hear that? I hope you can hear that. It definitely gives some feedback as well. So you can hear the cutting happening. The blade feels okay too. I tend to use the blades that come with razors for first impressions, just because I always take the notion that, hey, that's what the manufacturer suggests, so let's give it a go. But this is one of those that maybe you put a feather or Kai blade in it and maybe, uh, some people feel that um, increases the efficiency of a razor. I don't know, I, I can't really uh, validate that personally. But some people feel if you put a feather blade in a mild razor that it, it, it kicks it up a notch or two. Again, if you want to, just give it a shot. I'll do it. Maybe next time I use this, I'll, I'll, I'll roll with the feather and see how it feels. But the blades that came with it, which are made in Egypt, feel pretty good. So I have been pretty happy with this shaver today. And I think Jeffrey Smith was too. I will link his uh, video below. He was the first one, at least on YouTube, that I saw uh, use it, and he was happy with it. And I, and I would say that I'm happy with it as well. Um, I missed the Kickstarter. I had intended to, to get in it, but just put it off and off and off. And then by the time I got ready to do it, I went to the website and the Kickstarter was over. <laughs> so fortunately, the nice folks at Leaf um, sent this. And it's probably because, you know, I've been a fan and advocate of the Leaf Razor for a long time, along with... Chris Maiden and, and a lot of head shavers like, like the uh, leaf. Some don't, you know, some don't think it's traditional enough. But for me, you know, when you're poo-pooing something because it's not traditional enough, that's not a growth mindset. And my role as I see it, or one of my goals is to grow the hobby and bring in people who currently aren't in it. I don't, I don't only want to be singing to the choir, you guys. I mean, I'd love to sing for you and perform for you, but I don't always want to be doing that. I want new people to be coming along. You know, that's great for the channel. That's great for the wet shaving economy. And that makes it great for me. So more innovation, more things for me to try and enjoy. And I love to try new things and, and show them. You know, it's, it's why I really love doing these videos, or at least in part. And today is certainly no exception. I have, uh, <laughs> I have enjoyed using the twig. So mild shaver, but smooth. And again, maybe we try it next time with a feather, a kai blade or something like that. See if we kick it up. Um, but it was effective. Mild, smooth, and effective. I know already. So let's rinse and then we'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. All right, and we're back with the magic made by witches. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber. And that was a really nice, smooth um, shave. If I were to describe the twig razor, which you see here by leaf, in I guess four words, it would be, Mild, effective, smooth shaver. Is that four? Mild, effective, smooth shaver, yeah. Um, despite being mild, it did a great job. I love the way that uh, twist mechanism works for loading. It's just kind of cool. It's just kind of a neat uh, mechanism. And although I think some people probably won't like the way it looks, I like the way it shaves and that's really where the rubber meets the road. And I will definitely be using this more uh, in the future. I was very happy with it. I think Leaf did a good job. So thank you, Leaf. Good job. Thank you for the giveaway. You all, don't forget the giveaway. Please enter. The Swedish Witch Fresh uh, Citrus. Very nice shaving soap. Lightly scented. Did it blow my socks off as being the best in the world? No. <laughs> um, but does any soap really do that? Does it make me think when I use a soap, this is the best in the world? No, there's not really a single soap that speaks to me that way. Um, and again, it depends on the best of what? Ease of lathering, the way your face feels, slickness. It's, it's so hard to sort of um, 
in any way validate those sort of feelings or be able to demonstrably prove it that uh, I think it's definitely a good quality soap. If you want it, bug Marion the Barbarian. I'll put his email address below and maybe he can get with her and get some here in uh, North America. It's definitely a good quality soap, but sadly, no containers. And so um, in that way, I don't know if you'll ever see it, um, you know, being one of the major brands that are used a lot. Um, I would love to see that. I always love to see people being successful and being widely used, but this one's still in that sort of, at least for those of us in North America, it's sort of a, just a little niche product that you get your hands on and kind of enjoy it. It is good though. So uh, from that perspective, it was good. We used the That Darn Rob brush with the AP Shave Co. Sinbad Knot. And we're going to finish off today with another Swedish product. This is Hega. Whenever I use a Swedish soap, I always pull out the Hega. And this is something that Maddie Lindholm really uh, enjoys. And honestly, if I'm being completely honest, the Maddie Lindholm soap, and he's a brand new soap maker, I find it to be quite good as well. And if I'm being 100% honest and open, do I find the Swedish Witch Soap to be orders of magnitude better than Maddie's? No, not really. I find them to be pretty similar, both easy to use, both nice, nicely scented. Um, I, I put Maddie's, you know, sort of for the actual, in terms of slickness and providing just the, what you need for a shape. I find Maddie's to be Almost as good, if not as good. And I know that I don't mean any offense by that because Maddie's a new soap maker. I don't mean any offense to the Swedish Witch, but to me, they're both really nice shaving soaps. And so I enjoy using both. So once again, the leaf, don't forget the giveaway. I want to thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you it's your shave, do it your way. And as always, God bless.